So hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me your girl Barista Neze and this is Nezeville. Today is a very very sad day indeed and I bring us very bad news. It is with the deepest sadness in my heart that I announce to us that the first son of Yul and May Edoche, Kambili Chuku Leo Yul Edoche, has passed. Kambi, as he is fondly called by his friends and family, just turned 16. He had his whole life ahead of him. Well, if you do not know these people, and to further shed light on the aspersions and speculations being cast by people, I'm going to do a quick rundown of their story. Yule Doce is one of the sons of veteran Nollywood actor Peto Doce. He hails from Anambra State in Nigeria and he's the last of six children. Yule Doce followed in his father's footsteps and profession. He chose to be an actor and he has starred in so many Nollywood movies. He can be said to be a household name in Nigeria. Prior to last year, Yule Doce had pretty much stayed away from controversy. He was admired and watched all over the world by lovers of African movies. And his deep, hoarse voice stood him out in a very unique and admirable way. He's a brand ambassador for Nigerian breweries, paint rosettes, citizen journalist network, and a host of others. Let us just say that Yule Doce was not doing bad at all career-wise. On his personal life, Yule Doce was believed to even have it there more beautifully. You see, Yul got married quite early for a guy. At 22 years only, he had tied the knot with his beautiful wife, Maya Doce, and they proceeded to bear four children, Kambi, Danny, Carl, and Zayn, three boys and a daughter. Yul had a perfect family at least from the outside. Getting married quite early sure worked in Yul's favor because at only 41 years of age, photos of Yul surrounded by his grown-up children constantly melted the hearts of many. Yul was one that kept his marriage, his family life, and his personal business away from public eyes and scrutiny. What the world saw was a successful young man, a drop dead gorgeous wife, and four healthy, beautiful children. Blessed was the perfect term to describe Yule, but little did we know that trouble was lurking around the corner. On Wednesday, the 27th of April, 2022, Yule Doce took to Instagram to share a photo of himself with a young, beautiful baby boy of about one year of age. And in the caption, he said, it is time for the world to meet my son. His name is Star DK Munachimso Yule Doce. At this point, people were taken aback in shock. They were like, whoa, we didn't know that May was pregnant. <laughs> I thought you guys were done with the phase of childbearing. You have four kids already. Guy man, when are you going to hang your boots? Why don't you give your wife a breather? She has tried. Bore you male and female children. What more could you want? Well, they concluded too soon because the next paragraph of Yu's post threw the whole internet into the biggest, least expected shock. It went. Born by my second wife at Judy Austin, and I love him so much, just as I love my other children. At this point, shock had quickly turned to rage, and people were like, is this some kind of joke or something? What do you mean by your second wife? Well, it turned out that you had been in an amorous relationship with fellow actress, his colleague, Judy Austin. And according to reliable sources, that affair had been going on for years. And no, he didn't just keep it as being unfaithful to his wife. He went the extra step of getting married to Judy Austin and fathering a child, a son, with her. What's in all of this is that this woman is said to be a married woman. And the man who allegedly claimed to be her husband, by name of Bassi, had taken to the internet to tell the world that Judy is still his wife 
and there has been no return of bride price, neither has the marriage been dissolved, both legally or traditionally. But they were not deterred. Some friends of May even claimed that May got to hear about the whole affair and the whole childbirth on the internet along with others. It was beyond heart shattering for her and for many people. You see, May was not that woman who walked into a man of affluence. It wasn't a marriage that started with wealth or riches. She met and married Yule when he was a man of very little means. And together, they grew and built to who and what they are today. So May couldn't fathom, she couldn't understand why after all that building and molding and scrapping up and managing with her husband from the scratch, now that he is comfortable and famous, instead of exclusively enjoying middle age together and transcend happily into old age, you had to betray her and bring a third wheel into their marriage. She minced no words in describing how shattered, devastated and depressed the whole situation got her. She put her foot down and insisted that she would be no party to a polygamous marriage as that was neither the agreement nor does it conform to her religion as a Catholic woman. Well, you on the other hand saw no iota of wrong in what he had done. He has continually emphasized that he is an African man and by that he has the leverage to marry multiple women. What about the other woman, Judy? <laughs> she constantly took to social media to taunt and farms with this first wife and to heap praises and accolades on this man, projecting him as the best husband in the world. So that, my brothers and sisters, is how the once enviable relationship between you and his wife May went irretrievably sour. Not divorced, but yet not happily married. And even in December, when May released a family picture, you was conspicuously absent. There was no doubt that they were estranged. Now that is a background story, very important because as I mentioned earlier, it would give you some insights into the speculations making the round regarding what has happened. On the 4th of January 2023, that's just about two months ago, Kam Bilichukun, May and Yu's first son, turned 16. His parents took to social media to celebrate him. How ecstatic they must have been seeing their little boy of yesterday metamorphose into a young, fine man. His dad had this to say. A very happy 16th birthday to my first son. May God lead and protect you always with many more happy years. Daddy loves you. Similarly, his mom, Maya Doche, also dropped a heartwarming and daring message to celebrate his birthday via her Instagram account. He was a handsome, bright, promising, healthy child and nothing prepared them or even us for what was about to happen next. Many schools in Nigeria currently are taking their second term examinations and can be determined to make his parents proud and come out with good grades, had spent the most part of Tuesday night studying and burning the midnight candle. Wednesday came and he went in for the examinations and he took them, hale and hearty, and after which he decided to join some of his friends in a soccer match, which is very usual amongst the boys his age in Nigeria. Reports have it that can be while playing suddenly slumped and had a seizure. He was immediately rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Hmm, terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. Now, two sides have emerged in the quest to demystify what happened to Kambi. The first side is the physical and the second, the spiritual. For the people driving the physical narrative, they contend that Nigerians indeed perish for lack of knowledge. They opine that if somebody slumps, the first thing to do is to check if they are still breathing and begin the immediate administration of CPR. Time is of the essence. Every second counts. And even on the way to the hospital, you must be actively administering CPR to find a way to resuscitate that person. 
Not just taking them in that state, throwing them into the car and driving them to the hospital, and certainly not baiting them with a bucket of water. CPR. They bemoaned the lack of understanding exhibited by a majority of Nigerians when it comes to basic medical emergency practices. They recommend that awareness, orientation, basic tutoring must be conducted in the homes, at schools, in the offices, churches, everywhere. More people need to understand the importance of CPR and indeed know how to carry it out. They are of the opinion that if a simple CP arrow had been carried out on Kambi, that child will probably still be alive. Now that is on the physical. On the other leg, the spiritual, which a majority of people come under, they are like, please, spare me this whole CP arrow, CPD bullshit. They strongly hold that the sooner we begin to realize that the spiritual controls the activities of the physical, the more spiritually alert and battle ready we will be. According to them, how in the world is this a coincidence that this once happy, perfect family suddenly fell to this degree of catastrophe only one year after their dad? took a strange woman as wife. They believe that polygamy comes with a lot of unseen battles and only people in it can fully be abreast, fully comprehend the degree of hate, envy, diabolism and dangers that are inherent in it. So at this juncture, let me ask guys, if you're from a polygamous home or you've witnessed polygamy, start to share your thoughts and ideas, your comments down below. Let me know what polygamy is to you. Do you think it's peaceful and people are creating a bad impression of it on social media? Or do you go with these people? What are your ideas and perception about polygamy? Please drop in the comment section. Now let us go on. According to this set of people, they say that when you let the devil into your home, when you break the bond and spiritual oneness that a man and wife are supposed to hold exclusively to each other. You have created cracks on the wall of your home and the serpent, the devil, will crawl in. And that is exactly what has happened with Yule Doce and his family. A lot of other people even went beyond this to accuse Judy outrightly of being responsible for the death of the son of May. They describe you as stupid for allowing his once perfect, happy, bonded family to become porous to a third party. So let me know guys, these are two different sides of a divide. Do you believe that what has happened is purely physical, people slump, and with no administration of CPR, there is a higher chance of fatality? Or do you believe that there is no way this is just physical, that there is a great level of spirituality? that is involved in the death of this child. Share your opinions in the comments section. Now, before I wrap up this video, I must point out a very interesting point that a few people have noted. Now, in Africa, particularly in Nigeria, there are usually far-reaching consequences when a man sleeps with or gets married to another man's wife. Some people believe that this is a repercussion of such an act. Yes, Judy has been married. The status of that marriage, I cannot categorically confirm. But her husband has taken to social media, he has come online to state for a fact that he and this lady are still married in the eyes of tradition. And that whatever Yul is doing with her is pure adultery. What is the culture? What is the custom? in your place let me know where you come from and drop down below what the culture is in your place when a man is sleeping with or is married to another man's wife i've heard all sorts share in the comment section let us get enlightened and discuss a wide variety of possibilities i really really do feel so bad for this family especially for me this is a woman who is just recovering from a betrayal that has sent her into depression. Do you know that when a woman is having challenges with a man, with her husband, her first son becomes her husband, 
She clings to him. She tells him everything. He comforts her. He encourages her. He tells her, mommy, don't worry. I'm here for you. She automatically begins to see that son as her husband. May right now will be so shattered. God, I can't begin to describe or imagine the depth of the pain she will be going through. It seems like the clothes has been ripped away from her body and she's walking naked in the streets. The crown has been dragged off her head and she has lost her glory. She will be feeling so terrible having lost her husband to another woman and now her first son to the cold, chilling hands of death. May God grant her all the comfort in the world that she needs. Please drop a kind word for her down in the comment section. So guys, with heavy hearts, we have come to the end of today's video. Don't forget to engage in this video and let me know what you think in the comment section. If you are not subscribed, do want to subscribe to our channel, turn on your bell notifications, do give this video a big thumbs up and stay glued for the next one. It's me, your girl Barista Neze, and this is Nezebel. I'll see you guys in my next one for now. Bye.